Hello everyone, this is YouTube 31 Pockets and I'd like to welcome everyone to part number one of my Tecumseh Snow King carburetor rebuild video. Now today we're going to be doing the repair on a Troy built four horse Tecumseh Snow King engine. So as always, let's get started. Okay now here is our Troy built 21 inch snowblower with a four horse Tecumseh Snow King engine. Now before we get started and take this apart we're going to go over some of the tools the basic tools we need that can be picked up at most of your general small engine part supplier stores. Now this unit here this is our sirometer right here and this is a tachometer and this is mainly how we find and tune the RPM speed of the engine to what the the factory specifics and specifications are. Now this thing I use this pretty often um, on the last video I forgot to put it in you guys couldn't really see me using it on the, the Toro CCR power light but that's mainly the tool that I use to um, adjust the RPM speed. Now this is the hook set hook and pick set that we mainly need to use in this the tool that I have here right now with the insert is the one that we'll need to take out the seat inside the carburetor. We'll need that sharp little piece on the end to poke up in the old rubber seal and, and drag it back out. Now the next thing that we're going to use is our Tecumseh Wallboro float adjustment meter which is right here. We have our limits and I'll go over all this stuff as we get into that step but the first thing we're going to do next is to start to remove and get the carburetor off of the machine so we can pull it apart and, and rebuild it and reset it. Now we're basically just doing a light rebuild on it. We're not going to replace the flow. To get started we're going to get a standard uh, medium sized Phillips head screwdriver to take these two screws out. This is our heat box um, cover for the carburetor that keeps the snow and the ice off of it. Next we have a 5 16 little screw on the top here and the next thing we're going to do is pry off our choke control knob and then I'll uh, free it up so we can swing it back and get access to the carburetor. Okay, now we're going to be real careful to pull this little heat box back away. Okay, now we can see the carburetor and what we're going to basically have to do, and we're going to go over that to remove this carburetor. We're going to have to disconnect this little vacuum hose right here that connects to our primer on the side of the recoil air cover, and then we have to undo these two nuts that are on each side of the carburetor and then we have to carefully swing this carburetor back and undo the governor control and then we're going to have to remove our gas line hose right here a simple pair of pliers can generally clamp on that and slide that clamp back and then we can undo it and pry it back with a, a screwdriver and then we're going to get access to be able to take this off and get underneath it and adjust it. Now this one unfortunately has a setting um, um, high speed mixture on the bottom and on the side of the carburetor this little screw here is the low speed 
um, circuit adjustment. So this type of carburetor generally has quite a bit of problems um, after its second year if you leave fuel sitting in here that's contaminated. And I'm not sure how bad this one is on the inside, but we're going to take a quick look at it and then we'll see what we have to do once we pull this apart. Now our next step is to remove the gas line where it comes into the carburetor. We're going to put our pliers on here and move back our clip. Now we're going to take a screwdriver and pry back our gas line and let it drain if there's any fuel in the system into this little bucket on the floor that we have here. We'll open up the gas valve, make sure it's open. Okay, here comes the gas. So you guys can see it. Now that we have our gas drained out of the main part of the gas tank, we're going to go underneath the carburetor and we have a nut on the bottom that's generally half inch and it has our high speed adjustment screw that passes up through the center of it and that's our main high speed uh, mixture set screw. So the next thing we're going to do is undo that. Now we're going to just be careful and undo this and crack it loose. Well, actually this one is 7 16 we're going to crack this loose and let the remaining little bit of gas fall out through the bottom of the carburetor and then we'll clean it up with a rag. Okay, there's not too much in there. Now we're going to start removing the two nuts on each side of the carburetor that we can see right here. We're going to take out this one and the one on the opposite opposing side and we're going to remove both of those and then carefully undo our governor control linkage next. Okay, that takes care of one. This is the hard side. Well, unfortunately, we just about used up our 10 minutes again on YouTube, so um, I hope you guys stay tuned in for our next episode, and until next time, thanks for watching.